With release 2408, we are making formulas, totals, and conditional formatting available in planner workspaces. By using formulas, you can define key figure calculations directly within planner workspaces. This feature comes along with two decisive advantages. On the one hand, there's no need to ask your administrator to configure the desired key figure. On the other hand, the calculations are being performed directly after you have adjusted the reference key figures. There are various use cases you can address by using formulas, such as simple delta key figures, percentage deviations, and even calculations across time periods. Let's have a look at how formulas work. Calculating the projected stock in an isolated fashion is straightforward. You simply subtract demand from supply to determine the stock at the end of the period. If you accumulate the stock across the time periods, you'll notice whether demand and supply are well balanced. In the planning view at hand, you can see such a calculation. To define formulas, you can open the formula builder from the settings. First of all, you need to provide a name for the formula. Next, you decide whether the result should be displayed as a percentage. To differentiate between formulas and regular key figures in your planning view, you can apply a formatting style to your formulas. Those styles can be referenced in the Appearance feature. On the left-hand side, you can choose from the key figures assigned to the planning view, the available functions, and the operators. As of now, there's only one function, but don't worry, there's more to come in future releases. Now let's have a look at the formula defined. The calculation is straightforward. As described before, we are subtracting demand from supply. The previous cell function will handle the accumulation across time periods. The previous cell function requires only one parameter. This number is used if there's no value in the previous cell. Back in the planning view, we can adjust any of the editable key figures to get instant feedback on how the stock will trend. If the projected stock formula is negative, the value is highlighted using a red font color. This was defined here, using conditional formatting. You can create up to five conditional formatting rules for each key figure or formula in your planning view. The rules are applied in consecutive order. You may have also noticed that there's a total on top of the planning view. We revised the way totals are being defined and now we support more options. You can find the appropriate settings here. Inside the dialog, you can define whether you want to calculate a grand total, whether you want to have subtotals, and for which key figure a total should be calculated. Once you've selected the key figures, you can determine whether you want to use the calculation that was defined in the key figure configuration, or whether you want to use your own calculation instead. If you choose your own calculation, the total will be updated directly after you have changed the reference key figures. You may wonder what the option freeze total can be used for. Once you scroll within the planning view, you'll notice the purpose of this feature. The grand total will remain visible anytime. Now we have covered a lot of new features, formulas, totals, and conditional formatting. We're excited to see how these new features will make planning easier for you.